It's the bottom of the bag. Never been a bestseller. <coughs> Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. on the table. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost, old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis, books with pentagrams on their covers all dealing with the occult and the infernal, lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. He might not... Who knows?
Get him!
Hold it! The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else, a sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Lupino's notes covered the table. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood, a mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal, your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliché. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliché when it's happening to you. The flesh of fallen angels come of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh. Oh! I'm the wolf, yeah! I am the wolf! It's close. It's coming. You have come. Oh, come to the end of time. It's now! I will rise to her side! I don't need the words! I'm beyond the words! Hey, you!
I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Lupino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming! She is coming. And hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now. And all who stand in her way must die. <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All die! sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact? I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife-beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Mr. Bottom of the Bag.